Today we're going to be talking about censorship. Which kind? Well, you're going to have to stay tuned to find out. That's some tasty coffee, brother. Thanks again for your contribution. Best coffee in all of Merida, hands down. You guys should check out Lambo's Coffee Shop next time you guys are here in Merida, all right, guys? Best coffee in town. Hey, guys, welcome back. Today, we're going to be talking about censorship. And uh, why am I going to be talking about censorship? Well, well, it just so happens that this is a topic that I've been dealing with. In fact, I think every single person out there, especially if you're in the US, EU, and other first world countries, in fact, I think just about everywhere you are in the world, you're dealing with some sort of censorship. But for today's video, for today's purposes, we're basically dealing with uh, the censorship that we're dealing with, okay? Whether it's on YouTube, whether it's on the internet, and, um, and, and so on and so forth, you know, whether it's uh, political, coming off of Facebook, coming off of all these um, different agendas. Um, you, know, you already know that they're censoring certain things and they're not censoring other things and so on and so forth. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. Now, I'm not quite sure when you're going to be watching this particular video, but if you guys out there, for any one of you, out there that has been a loyal viewer of mine that watches pretty much every single daily upload that I have. Um, you guys know that the last couple weeks I've been experimenting a little bit with my channel. And if you don't know, I'm, I'm letting you know now that's what I was doing, as to I was uploading a lot of, a, a lot of uh, censorship heavy content, okay? Whether I was talking about literal, literal censorship on the internet, whether I was talking about blockchain bitcoin all that stuff hold on let me let me uh, close these windows here real quick okay because i don't know there's doing some constructions out there and it might be getting a little loud i can just already start hearing their doing their thing so i was like let me okay so anyways as you guys already know i was doing videos on venezuela on argentina on trump on all kinds of things okay everything and anything in between i made a video on why i escaped my brainwashed country which got a lot of views i made a video on julian assange didn't get so many views we're going to talk about that in a second and so on and so forth so um all of a sudden, uh, my channel has been, you know, killing it. Has been kicking ass, you know, for a while. Especially since I've been publishing a lot of Mexico tourist. Uh, I mean, sorry, not tourist, but I'm doing a lot of Mexico um, travel vlog videos. I've been getting a definite upsurge in my viewers and my subscribers and my everything. Okay, and I've been obviously taking that, you know, using that to my advantage. You know, where I've, you know, um, used my platform which is the YouTube space, and I uh, use my, uh, my travel videos to expose my new viewers to a lot of the other content that I created before, you know, meaning, you know, my, you know, talking about uh, what's happening uh, with real world events, what's happening with, um, you know, the Bitcoin stuff, what's happening around the world, you know, what's happening in the political sense, you know, what's happening in the, from the historical perspective, you know, what's happening with um, the, 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 the economy, you know, what's happening with a lot of things. I'm, I'm, I'm avoiding the word conspiracy theory, and I'm going to see if I can move away from that word, not because that's not something that we discuss here, because we, we do, we talk about all that stuff, but again, that word and those, you know, those that, that particular phrase gets a lot of negative connotation, and I'm not going to be here trying to fucking reverse engineer, you know, the whole process for you guys, you know, like at the end of the day, you guys can figure it out, what the hell we talk about here on this channel, I think most of you do, but... As I was saying, um, I was exposing um, a lot of my older viewers, you know, that followed my history, my economic news, my Bitcoin blockchain news, all that stuff, and exposed them to Mexico and what's happening over here. And I exposed a lot of you guys, you know, with the Mexico stuff, you know, I mean, I've exposed you guys to the newer um, stuff, you know what I mean? The stuff that, 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 that I usually talk about, which is, again, you know, politics or, you know, what's happening in the economy and, you know, all these other things, you know, technology and so on and so forth history mainly history and um you know to me i'm always struggling back and forth because i want to make both types of content okay i remember my background is a chef 
Okay? My hobby is history, like historian. My other hobby is making videos and content. So it's like putting all those together that eventually, you know, come up with my channel. So when I'm out there doing the travel vlog stuff and, you know, just walking around with my camera, I enjoy that. I want to do that. That's something I really want to do. When I'm standing in front of this camera and talking to you guys about Argentina or Venezuela or, um, you know, Bitcoin and blockchain or the economy or, or, or history, I enjoy that as well. I, I mean, one of the things that I wanted to do when I was younger, I wanted to be a professor or a teacher and it never materialized. But again, you know, with all the things that I've done with my life, it's like I've always held some sort of, uh, you know, teaching um, uh, job, you know, not a teaching job, but like it's some sort of a teaching, um, you know, position, you know, whether again, as a chef, I'm, I'm teaching a lot of people. As a business consultant, I was teaching. As a YouTuber, I'm, I'm, I'm a lot of times I'm teaching. I'm exposing you guys to things and so on and, and vice versa. You know, so it's, it's all that in between. So I decided to do a little bit of an experiment, you know, even though I kind of touched on it but I really didn't talk to you guys about it you know I, I said to myself you know what let me see how this is gonna work I'm gonna you know um, since I upload all kinds of videos throughout the week I'm gonna go let me do a whole week of just my my regular videos of history and politics and history and, and, uh, and economy and blockchain and Bitcoin let me do a week of that and then let me do a week of Mexico videos and check out the algorithms okay and um, right now um, I, I'm still about to I'm, I'm about to start the Mexico um, trial run video you know I just finished the week of you know all the regular history videos all the you know all the stuff that I usually do but right um, as of the next day or two I'm gonna start doing the whole Mexico experiment thing but you know just from the what I've gotten so far um, you know back on the you know through feedback from the algorithms and the analytics you know when it comes to the whole YouTube thing it's already I already know where this is going because my channel, from the from from uh, from the time that I started doing a lot of these uh, technology, history, um, conspiracy, whatever, you know, all these videos, you know, talking about a lot of these things that I talk about, um, my channel was growing, but it was very slow, very very slow. It was a uh, pulling teeth to get subscribers, but to me, you know, it didn't matter if I got like one subscriber a week. I was like, wow, that was awesome. You know, but it, it was just growing gradually, but it was growing. I was happy. I knew these things take time. But it wasn't until I started vlogging about Mexico a little over a year ago um, that I started really seeing a, a major increase. And, uh, and then, you know, moving forward, you know, the more Mexico videos I did and the more these Mexico videos sat in the vault of my channel, it's like, wow, you know what I mean? My channel was starting to, be, to become a travel channel. But as you guys all know, when I'm walking around Merida, you know, doing my travel videos, I talk about all kinds of subjects. It's not necessarily just about, you know, what's happening around me. So, the funny thing is, is that like my channel was growing, 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 and it was just, you know, growing pretty awesome. And it kind of plateaued a little bit, but I wasn't complaining, you know, plateaued in a great way. You know, I'm getting like around seven, eight subscribers a day, and you know, give or take, and getting a lot of views and getting a lot of things, but it was, you know, whatever, plateauing again, I'm not complaining. But I said, you know what, let me turn this around and let me just start publishing videos that have nothing to do with travel, but the videos that I used to make all the time. As Soon as I started doing that, the decline was literally in my face you know like um, all the numbers just started tanking it was um very evident that they did not want me to publish a lot of these videos in fact sometimes when i would publish a video they would demonetize in fact they, they demonetize all these videos whether it was talking about julian assange argentina venezuela um censorship why i left the u.s you know all these videos that i made they all got censored and um, i started playing around with the algorithm so as as i published them they got censored so i would pull them i would you know, tell YouTube, hey, you know, for them to, um, you know, to do a manual review and all of them always got approved because I wasn't really talking about anything negative. It's just that the subjects I was talking about were no-nos. And so not only did I win all of these appeals, but what was happening was that I was winning the appeals, but then even though my video was taken out of uh, getting blocked it was still blocked they started shadow banning me and I, I just knew this because all of a sudden my numbers just tanked i i usually average around uh, um around 700 800 views um a day and i went down to like around 300 views a day give or take you know and it's like whoa you know it's not 300 views 500 views you know what i mean like a day that's like a, a big change you know 
and um, you know you get to, and I and I, you, I get to see every single video that gets promoted. I get to see the videos that get that are getting watched. I get to see all this stuff, and all of a sudden, none of my videos you know were getting promoted or watched or anything, and everything was just like you know one view every hour, one blah, blah, blah. And uh, where that wasn't the case before, you know what I mean? Usually what happens is like, I get a lot of views, you know? I might not, you know, if I publish a video talking about Argentina in between a lot of these touristy videos, a lot of these travel videos, you know, that one particular video might not get a lot of views, but all my other views, all my other um, videos get views and the rest of my channel will get a lot of views. But then all of a sudden, when I started publishing a lot of videos, you know, and not a lot of videos, but like six videos in a row talking about everything but travel, then that's when all of a sudden it threw the algorithm for a rock. And then even though I really haven't started the Mexican video upload experiment yet, I've already uploaded a few um, because today I'm filming this on a Monday. So I've already had like Saturday, Sunday, Monday, tomorrow, you know what I mean? And I already, I can literally right now, I, I mean, my algorithms is already jumped my video views are up and so many more other things and it's like a very evident because then all of a sudden now look at the algorithms i get to see that they're pumping on my videos again they're definitely pumping my mexico videos and it's just it's it's um it's a little intense the reason i'm talking about this censorship more than anything right now is because to me what i think i'm going to start doing from now on which is something i was already doing is that i'm going to continue talking about everything that i talk about but i think i'm going to start um you know, playing around with the titles a little bit more. I'm gonna start playing around with um, how I talk about these things a little bit more. So for example, I might do a walk and talk and I'll be talking about one of these very, very controversial subjects, but I'll see if I can omit it. You get what I'm saying? Kind of like as much as possible from the algorithm so that way it gets viewed, it gets pushed, it gets everything and, and the YouTube is not the wiser. And I know that this works because I've done it before and other viewers and other channels do it before. but. You know, at the end of the day, we gotta remember that things are, right now, they're coming to a head. The algorithm, YouTube, all of these um, companies, corporations that are completely censoring the hell out of everybody are, you know, in a sense, um, you know, um, going backwards right now. You know, now they're starting to, you know, give people's voice back again because now they're starting to get sued. Now they're starting to see problems, you know. They're starting to see other people, you know, use other platforms and so on and so forth. And at the end of the day, they're just a business. They're a corporation, a worldwide corporation. And they, you know, they, you know, they have to look at the bottom line type of thing. And I, I again, we're not going to be talking about the fact that we, a lot of us think that YouTube and a lot of these companies are owned or run by the, by the government, by the U.S. government to be exact and shit like that. But that's not the point. You know, I, in recent uh, days, I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos from all kinds of YouTubers. So, you know, for example, you know, if, if YouTube is really crazy censoring everything, then they would right now be censoring, um, right now, okay, right now I was watching YouTubers from Cuba. So in Cuba, there are Cubans. Okay, remember, you know how we all, all the, all the things you always hear about Cuba, they got nothing, right? No internet, no nothing. But all of a sudden, in my YouTube internet travels, I found a lot of YouTubers that are Cuban born, Cuban people living in Cuba, vlogging, vlogging with better quality of videos than mine. So what the hell? Um, then you start going a little bit deeper down the rabbit hole and you, and you start looking at videos from other countries, you know, like their videos that they, that they, you know, like let's say you go to the Philippines and the uploads from the Philippines or the uploads from XYZ country or whatever. And you're starting to really see that it's not necessarily that censored. You know, sure, certain things might be censored for certain audiences, but they're not all the way completely censored. In fact, this last week of me uploading all these videos and um, f changing the algorithm all, all around for my whole channel, now, even in my own recommendations, I started getting recommended a lot of these videos that I was like, oh wow, I, I forgot about this channel. Oh wow, I forgot about this. And it's like all of a sudden exposing me to the exact same stuff that I was pushing. So. It's like the algorithm itself is eating itself and um, it's, it's kind of like um, contradicting itself. In fact, if you know, we're looking at this from the perspective of uh, artificial intelligence, which you know, we know that a lot of this stuff is using, um, you know, the artificial intelligence itself, I know it sounds kind of crazy, but again, we know it's not, but the artificial intelligence itself is, is like overriding a lot of the bullshit that's happening. So it's kind of like, weird happen with something that it's it's like you know 
the whole left agenda, you know what I mean, is, is fighting against the right agenda. The computer AI is being told one thing, but then they're using their own common sense and they're doing something else. Then there's all this manual review stuff. Then there's all these laws and regulations. There's so much shit going on. And it's just, at the end of the day, what's, what's happening is, it's, um, we're just in a moment in time in history, which is something that I've discussed many times. And I got reminded of that literally this morning because as I was just, you know, getting my coffee ready and doing all this stuff, I was going to listen to one of my podcasts. You know, like, um, I usually listen to, like, Joey Diaz or, you know, just comedy. I try to, you know, if there's no news or anything like that, I, I check that first. But if not, I just go straight to comedy because, again, you know, I, I expose myself to a lot of stuff that could be, you know, very negative and could really start rotting and fucking up your brain in a, in a bad way. So I, I, I how I... Um, you know, have my equilibrium is that, yeah, sure, I'll watch a lot of news, I'll watch a lot of the stuff that's really going on in the world, you know, the, the good, the bad, the ugly, all that stuff, but then I, how I kind of like, um, you know, have my little equilibrium is that I'll, I'll, I'll watch comedians, I'll watch comedy, I'll listen to podcasts that are not just, you know, telling me about science or, or nature or, you know, archaeology, but also, you know, like, again, things are just making me laugh so that I can also remind myself that, you know, there's, you know, there's this thing called life and there's all these other things that are happening around the world that are just way far more important than the bullshit that our propaganda exposes us to. And, um, you know, I don't want to go off on a fork here, but, you know, that's another thing too that I love about living in Mexico where I can literally just, I'm, I'm constantly being turned off from that. And if it wasn't for my YouTube channel, I would be totally, probably unexposed to a lot of the propaganda and bullshit that's happening and I'll probably be a lot happier and a lot more like you know just living in my world living in my you know whatever land and not even giving a fuck about all this bullshit that and again if you really want to look down at the end uh, you know down to the root of it most people around the world most not 80 percent of the billion people of the billions of people around the world can, can give three fucks about a lot of the bullshit that we worry about all the time so it's just keeping that in, per in perspective so you know, but, um, you know, I know I went off on a tangent there, but, you know, what I was just trying to say um, before that was, um, hold on, let me, what was I trying to say before that? I lost my train of thought. Oh, yeah, it was a censorship thing. So that, okay, so then this morning, um, I, I wasn't listening to a podcast, I wasn't listening to everything because what happened was I was looking just through the YouTubes, you know, just to see any news, any, you know, crypto news or regular news or whatever, you know, things that I missed during the weekend, I kind of turn off on the weekend. And, uh, you know, I wasn't really seeing anything in particular, but there's this one YouTuber out there. Um, I'm gonna see if I can put a link at the bottom. I can't really put a, um, a, a video image because I'm gonna get, de not demonetized, but copyright strike or whatever. And again, I get it. You know, this guy puts a lot of work into his channel. He has over a million viewers and, uh, I mean, subscribers and, and stuff like that. But what this guy does, okay, for anyone that's an American US citizen, I, I mean, a US, um, a North American U.S. citizen or anything like that, and you guys are familiar with, um, you know, um, those people that do the reenactments, you know, the people that do reenactments like in Williamsburg or, you know, like on the East Coast that do the reenactments of, uh, of um, you, you know what I mean, colonial times, you know, the people churning the butter or the people living in like 1783 or the people living in like those kind of times. And I'm not talking about the Amish, but the people that do like the reenactments and the people that are historians and, and all that stuff. Well, there's a guy out there. Again, I'm gonna put the link at the bottom. Please check it out if you're interested in this stuff. I love this channel. I just discovered it like a, like a month ago and I'm hooked. So this guy is like one of those guys that um, is one of those reenactor guys, you know, from colonial times, from the 1700s, 1800s, you know, whatever. And, um, you know, his channel is literally, hold on, let me turn this off. His channel is, is literally just um, cooking and talking about history from that moment in time, from the 1700s, the 1600s, the 1800s, you know, his, he's cooking about recipes, I mean, he's talking about recipes, talking about the history of the time, talking about so many things. The last thing he's talking about is politics. And, and this morning I got, um, I got um, a, a recommendation in my YouTube feed to watch his, this video of his that he posted two years ago and it was talking about censorship. And I'm like, what? This guy, that's it, huh? So I, I checked it out and this guy was almost on the verge of tears, you know, as he was trying to talk about, you know, the whole censorship thing. And, and also, you know, this is over two years ago. So we know that this, remember, we know that the whole censorship thing on YouTube and the whole, uh, remember, YouTube apocalypse, what was it called again? I had apocalypse, you know, this has been around for a while, but you know, it, just long story short, it just goes to show you that no matter what the hell you're doing out there, for the most part, 
you're at one point you're going to start getting censored by the algorithm or even worse censored by the people that are in control of the censoring okay why they censored him is because again he was doing a reenactment and he was like it was literally a cooking video but yet somehow again i i, I watched the video that got him in trouble and um I, I couldn't find what the hell got him in trouble and to me it was all basically you know i just we all boil it down to because i was reading the comments and shit like that and what it was it was just um a group of people all right that started watching um his video and they were upset with a certain president upset with a certain political situation and they just went off on him and it was so unfair and so sad and so everything because again you know this guy that literally posts videos to I mean, they're, they're wholesome. They're family fucking videos, man. This guy is like, should be on PBS for crying out loud. Like, I swear to God, he should be on PBS. I really want you guys to check him out. I mean, I, this, I think his name is like Townshed or Townshead. I think it's like town, the Townshead channel because I don't even know the name of the channel. But, and, and even he got affected. And there's so many channels and so many groups out there that get constantly affected by this stuff. So, to me, you know, he was talking about it and he also kind of put it into perspective that, you know, because he never talks about politics, but he is a historian, and he brought the whole, pers you know, the whole, um, pers the whole historical perspective to what's happening now. And again, it's something that I bring up to you guys all the time. That right now we're just going, we're going through the cycle. We're going through a cycle, and 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 in this point of this cycle right now, it's 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 something in which everything is politicized. Everything you do, no matter what, I'm wearing this white shirt and I'm probably going to get in trouble because why wasn't I wearing um, this black shirt? You follow what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Or, you know, I got this flag and so a lot of people are probably tuning in at some point. They only see this flag for the first couple seconds and they're upset because I don't have this flag. You got, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and we can go back and forth, you know what I mean? People probably see my flag here and then they're upset I don't have that flag. Or worse, that I don't have this flag, you know? And to me, like a lot of people out there are like, bro, who gives a fuck about these flags? Who gives a fuck about these things, you know? Why can't you just teach us about cooking? Why can't you just show us a our Medida? Why can't we just, you know, talk about, you know, what's on your mind without having to get censored or having to get in trouble? So, you know, that's the thing. Right now, you know, just from the historical perspective, that I've talked about many times with you guys before, you know, we're coming to a head, all right? Um, right now, we're, we, I think we've already plateaued when it comes to this craziness. Again, you know, I even watch, you know, there's someone out there called uh, Tim Poole, which I'm sure you guys know. This guy's uber left. Same thing as like um, Jimmy Dore, also uber left. But Tim Poole is even more uber left. He's a millennial, the whole fucking night. He used to work for Vice, you know, the whole thing, all right? And uh, and now, you know, I used to watch his videos more like perspective, you know, to like see what the left's perspective is. And he's still very left, don't get me wrong. Soy boy all day. Um, and, but I love and respect him, you know, you know what I mean? He's, he's very different, you know, I'm, not, I'm just fucking with him, you know what I mean? Busting his balls a little bit. But at the end of the day, what I'm trying to get at is that now, I'm, I watch his videos. Be, again, before I used to watch him just to get a little bit inside in the left and, um, you know, then it got to a point where it was, now it's to the point where I watch it for pure entertainment. Why? Because he's on the left, reading stories from the left, and he's like pulling his hair, he's like, you know, saying, you know, he's, he's the one that, he's also coming to the realization, like a lot of people out there are coming to the realization of the insanity that is being per perpetrated by the left. And again, I am super crazy left, guys. All right? I know you, a lot of you guys might think I'm on the right or conservative. I'm not. I'm not at all. I'm the, I'm very left. Okay. It's just that because of today's climate, pff, a lot of you guys probably think I'm crazy conservative. I'm not. I'm not. Okay. And I'm just not. You know. And again, you know, most of us are right in the middle. You know, meaning we have a little bit of conservative. We have a little bit of uh, um, leftism. And it's 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 a thing. You know what I mean? We're all human. We know we all have a mixed bag of things. There's certain people that are very right, very, and, and some people that are very left, and they're always going to be that way. But I think most people. A good majority of like 90% of the population of Earth is right in the middle, somewhere right in the middle, you know, ideally, you know. 
Um, and again, don't quote me on, on these numbers. I'm not that guy. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's that, you know, things are coming to a head. We're seeing that everyone now, it's not just the right anymore or the people that are considered to be right, you know, but everyone, like, again, even the, the people that are that would vote Democrat or people that are left or people that sympathize with that ideology, feminist, you name it, the whole nine, you know, um, they're pushing back and they're like, you know, they're they're laughing at the ridiculous that this is. They're, they're um... They're now, you know what I mean, at the point of like screaming at the top of their lungs as to how insane and crazy a lot of this stuff is. And again, you know, we're seeing this thing, you know, plateau, you know, this whole crazy censorship thing, this whole government control thing, this whole, you know, everything is politicized thing coming to a head. And now we're starting to see the decline of that. And we're going to start seeing an uptick in the pushback of that and you know again um, um we see that if you if you any one of you guys out there listen to comedy or follow comedy you guys know that comedy right now is what's leading the way when it comes to this because usually it's kind of it's music it's usually music but nowadays it's it's like a comedy so i love listening to andrew schultz i love listening to you know obviously joe rogan i think is funny and a lot of people are always like you know he's on the left he's on the right he's on this um I love listening to um, that, um, Joey Diaz. I love listening to Dave Chappelle. And again, you know, just coming to, you know, to see if I can end this, you know, Dave Chappelle came out with a new special the other day, a, a couple weeks ago. It's been already probably, by the time you're watching this, probably two weeks, maybe three weeks. But the minute it came out, Vice came out with a news article. You should not watch this because it is very offensive. And it's like, again, you know, just knowing what we know about human behavior, the minute you say, hey, don't do this, what is your reaction? You're going to go right, right the hell and do it. You're going to, no matter what your fucking belief system, someone tells you, hey, don't do this, you're going to go do it. Or you're going to go find out why you can't do it or whatever. So, you know, now, you know, come full, you know, fast forward a little bit longer. I mean, a little bit to today, you know, you were going to like Rotten Tomatoes or whatever the hell that website is. And let's see, like all the, all the critics are giving that Dave Ch Chappelle special, all these negative thumbs downs. But yet every single person that's an actual a viewer, a fan, a, you, a you out there, every single one of you out there, you guys gave it like 100% thumbs up. I mean, come on, man. When the fuck does that even happen? So, I mean, again, that goes to show you how everyone is pushing back like really hard. Even if you look at mainstream media, they're pushing back against a lot of their narratives, whether it's a Russia, 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 whether whatever the fuck it is. Okay. And so that's the thing, you know, we're coming, you know, full circle. People have had enough of a lot of this stuff. You know, people are already starting to see, you know, Donald Trump for the clown that he is again. Whether he's doing stuff that's good for the country or not, it doesn't matter. It, they're starting to see his tactics of like, again, you know, look at what he did with the meme, you know, the recently with um, Greenland and then putting the, the building on Greenland. Like, oh, I promise I'm not going to do that. Or who, what he just did with the hurricane and the cat. And the, I mean, come on, you know, like, and so it's like at this point, if you are not, if you don't get it, you're the joke. You know what I mean? Like, if you don't get what the fuck is going on, you're the joke. And that's what's happening. You know, more and more, you know, people are realizing these things and they're waking up, you know? And it's not, you know, the whole woke culture shit, don't let them fucking hijack what that really means. You know, being woke, you know, it always meant, you know, again, when you went down the rabbit hole and you started seeing things for what they really were, okay? You know, again, a certain agenda hijacked that term. And that's not really what it means, but whatever. All right, guys, so at the end of the day, all I'm making this video for is just to, like, I guess, you know, encourage you guys and let you guys know that, you know, this whole censorship thing, even though it's kind of running wild right now and it's uh, it's only probably going to get worse as we go on, um, you know, at the end of the day, you know, this is going to, for those of you guys out there that understand history and know history, this is fun. This is going to be a really, really fun time, and especially now, you know what I mean, as things are now start, starting to finally, you know, they've plateaued and going the other way, you know. Man, things are just going to get even more fun as we break down these walls of censorship with comedy, with art, with culture, with the people literally pushing back of like enough is enough. All right. Because the reality is that enough is enough. Okay. We've had it. And um, playtime is over. Kids, you know, you got to get your, you know what I mean? You got you to get to bed because the adults are here and we're, we're, you know, we're about to start playing. All right, guys. That's it. Video is extra crazy long today. But hey, 
I don't know, I guess um, I've been making a lot of long videos lately. Um, I hope you guys like them. Um, if you don't, whatever, I'll go back to the 20 minute format. But anyways, guys, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Um, I wanna know what you guys think. I really wanna know what, what you guys think about this whole situation, how, where we're heading, what you guys think, what's going on there, you know, what, what, you know what, whatever you guys wanna share. Because I know that's the thing about my channel too. I can't necessarily just ask regular basic questions, you know, when it comes to a lot of these things because, you know, I look at the comments and most of you guys you know you guys all love me that's the one thing you guys have in common but if you like if you if I like sometimes I'm looking at the comments I'm like fuck man you know everybody's like all right some of you guys are leaving like pro you know you know left uh, comments or pro right comments and you know I, I sometimes you know if I don't answer or I kind of just like leave it there it's because I mean you don't want to hear my real answer or I've already given it to you and you guys are not listening but I love all you guys no matter what and that's the one thing I want to you know I want to keep you know, the whole, I want to make sure you guys all understand that, that, you know, all this is, is just open conversation. That's all I really want. I want open conversation. I want all of us to continue this conversation and not just shut, shut ourselves to one ideology or, or one thought or one way of doing things because that's not the right way. Okay, sorry, the camera stopped recording. But anyways, that's not the right way. It's, um, you know, we're all in this together. You know, we're all one big happy human family and we all gotta live to learn, to learn, to live with each other, okay? That whole idea of like, I'm gonna shun you because you're gay or I'm gonna shun you because you're on the right or the left or the fucking top or the, it's like, come on, man. How old are we guys? Come on, come on, all right? Can we all just get along, all right? Can we all just fucking have our own opinion and live fucking happy and peacefully, huh? Jeez, anyways, guys. That's it. You know, video over, all right? Obviously the camera already turned off because I went 30 fucking minutes, which is a long time. So guys, I wanna give a big shout out to all my patrons. I wanna give a shout out to everyone out there buying t-shirts, you know, so helping support the show, helping support me and Lambo. You know, um, just all the love in the world, all the big hugs in the world. I wanna, I just really, I love you guys. I want a big, big thank you. Thank you so much for all the thumbs ups. Thank you so much for all the comments. Thank you so much for sharing my videos. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you, 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 all right? So that's it, guys. With that being said, I love you guys. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share, please hit that bell icon. Check out the sponsor at the end of the show and uh, peace out, guys. I love you. Stay easy, be easy, stay awesome. And uh, that's it, peace. I'm out. I gotta go feed my horse. No, wait, I gotta go this way. All right, horse, time to get fed. Hey guys, guess what? Me and Lambo are still here. We haven't left yet. You know why we're here? Because I want to tell you all about this new store that I just opened up. Yeah, that's right. It's our new sponsor as well. Let me tell you a little bit more about it. So, as you guys can see, this is the store. I just opened up the store, I don't know, about a week ago, and um, I'm gonna be selling all my merch and all of our stuff here, whether it's Lambo stickers, whether it's, you know, mugs, t-shirts, jackets, you name it. We got all kinds of stuff that you guys can buy and um, help support the show. Now, you get to have your very own shirt or your very own Lambo sticker, and if you guys want any special requests on things, for me to put in the store, then please, by all means, let me know and uh, we'll get our graphic artist, you know, on top of it. Yeah, that means you gotta work, Lambo. All right, guys, thank you so much. Love you guys and I'll see you guys manana.